Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to use OpenStreetMap to capture field names. Uh, this time I'm going to focus a bit more on the British War Office map, but more about that later. I got some names from Carrageen and Kilderry. Carrageen, Kilderry, two quite Irish uh, towns and names from a guy who lives in there. I don't want to be too precise. Um, so I'm already logged in on OpenStreetMap.org with my username. And we're going to start around this little stream here, which he didn't know the name of. I've heard it, but I have forgotten it because it's in Irish. O'Kelly, in his book, um, O'Kelly's um, Place Names of County Kilkenny, calls it the Cantwell, which doesn't seem to be a very old name because it would be Irish if it was. But it flows up from, from Johnswell uh, down here on two Cantwells, what used to be Cantwells land, so maybe that's got something to do with it, very likely. So I'm gonna click edit to start the ID editor, which is still the easiest editor to use for beginners. Um, you have also Potlatch, which I don't think I've ever used, and Jossum, which I usually use for buildings. But there aren't any buildings on this that aren't mapped yet, because we've already finished the whole of Kilkenny. Yeah. So there we have the river with the vegetation along it. The Wrath, Wrath, um, from a previous, I don't know if I used it in the tutorial, but this is a Wrath field here, because it leads to the Wrath. But anyway, um, so he tells me that this field here, the luscious green one, is called the rock field and of course Carrageen means the little rock and that's why because this is the rock field which probably went down here where the two bungalows are because he says if you go and look at those spots you can still see the rock the bare rock that gave this field and indeed the whole town's land its name so I'm using the area tool to line out this field and when I'm finished and I'm not, I don't want to go there I press my escape button and then I can go to the left on land use farmland and type in the name I had to get a new keyboard because the one on the laptop stopped working. The rock. So, sorry for the noise. The rock field. Uh, and I'm gonna add a description. Spelling description. So I'll just continue along uh, adding all the names he gave me. Um, just to explain, he's, I would say, maybe in his 60s. I didn't ask. Um, uh, he said he only remembers them from when he was that tall, and he showed me, and I guess he would have been maybe seven or eight. So that's that's quite a while ago. Um, and, of course, he didn't have a map in his childhood. His dad didn't sit him down with a map and say, and this is the rock field, and this is the graveyard field. But what happened was he was a little lad, uh, mostly at home with his mom, I guess, and the dad went out to work on the farm for the Lynch family because they owned most of that land. They don't anymore. And then they were making hay and his mom would make a flask of cold tea. He insisted on cold tea um, for the dad to, to cool him down and to rehydrate. Not that they would have called it that, I guess. Um, but then she would say to him, your dad's working in the six acres field today. Um, so and, and the boy knew where that was because his dad must have shown him at some point. But that's why people needed the names of the fields, because they had their children or their wives bring food and drinks and or somebody was sent there on some errand. Or just, just coming back home at night from working in the field and telling your wife, worked in the pond field today, um, and then maybe a bit of complaining about the work and... Or whatever so you know it's it's basically like an address um, in the country as simple as that um, but I've encountered people living in the city who have no clue that there is such a thing as a field name and this is just 
the explanation for why they are in existence. Uh, nowadays you have GPS, I guess, you know, if you want to send your child to bring a flask. Um, or maybe you wouldn't even do that because they're all motorized now and there's no point of sending anyone there. They can just come home for lunch. I don't know. So next field. Um, so this is Rathcool Graveyard. Um, and the guy who gave me all this information is basically looking after it. So the field next to it, which is sometimes a bit confusing. But this field here, which goes up to here somewhere. Gonna have to double check. Um, it's the graveyard field. Just like I said before with the wrath field, it's not the one that the wrath is in in that case, but it's the one that's leading to the wrath. It's like you have the Dublin road leads to Dublin. It's um, very similar. So, graveyard field. You know, with the fields to the east here, um, especially this one here, because it has an Irish name. So I'm using the area tool again. Um, you see how there seems to be a fence in here. The, the ground looks different on the right and on the left hand side. If I go into British War Office map, the line is here, further to the left. But in his field paper map that he gave me, it is actually more um, maybe here, or actually further to the right. So I'm gonna have to move it a bit. I couldn't use the field paper map. I tried to photograph it and upload it, but the upload failed. I don't know why. That's unfortunate. So I'm going with this. Um, and now because I have modified my shape, it shows me area instead of what I usually see. So what I can do is um, I can either type in land use land, or I could go back on this arrow here up uh, at the top and then choose land use features farmland. Um, and then, of course, add the name. The name is Gort Nahoun. Why does it not type? type? It does. Uh, which is Irish, of course, um, but not the Irish spelling. Not quite sure how to spell it, um, so I'm going to leave it in the spelling that he used. Um, the translation is, so I put that in under name, colon, en. The river, the river field. So gorge is field. Nahoun is um, the of the river. So or genitive of river. I think it's um, probably. I won't leave it. It's like H A I B H and then something. I don't know. I gave up on Irish after four years on Duolingo. Um, but that's what it is. Um, the river field, and then the one. Next to it is the hay barn field. Because there used to be a hay barn in it, which is gone oh, now, I've drawn into the river um, because I didn't keep my alt key pressed. Or I could have just zoomed in. Um, farmland. Name. Instead of scrolling up into the name, name field, I can just type name. Okay. Farm. Field. I've moved the map a bit further down south, um, so on the left hand side, east side, we have 
Kildare, which is of course named after the oak tree, so like Kildare, Kildara, the church of the, the oak tree. Um, just because I want to show you how useful the British War Office map can be. So what we have here, if, if you're familiar with maps and satellite views, you might know what it is. If you're not, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the British War Office map. And that should explain everything. So there are two quarries. This used by now, um, that's why they're so overgrown. And this field here is called the quarry field. And this one here is also called the quarry field for obvious reasons. So we're going to add those two names. Close this because in the way. Um, and I'll go around the quarry because the quarry can be defined as such, which I won't do right now, but I'll probably do later. So this is probably one of those road frontage <laughs> situations. Uh, it probably used to be one big field at some point until they had that house built there. That's an Irish inside joke that I came across quite a few times when I moved here. Um, so there we have our field, farmland, and quarry field. What I forgot to do with the previous ones, I just remembered survey date 2020. 11, 12. And up here, oh, this bit is also called the quarry field. Um, in his map he has this divided into four fields and you can't really see where the hedges used to be. Sometimes you can, in this case you can't. So that's where the British War Office map comes in handy because I can use the hedge rows that are marked in there. And I try to do to switch back to Bing without having finished that area. Yep. So I can avoid the quarry. It is probably very useful that one of the quarry fields is in Kildare and the other one is in Sanford's Court. Um, because if you want to send someone to the quarry field, you want to know which quarry field they refer to. Um, another thing I wanted to say, the um, British War Office map um, is stated on the OpenStreetMap Wiki to 1940, but you might wonder wh why, how the British War Office could make a map of Ireland in the 1940s, um, because they shouldn't have anything to do with Ireland in the 1940s. Um, the thing is that they didn't make this map in the 1940s as such, they just reproduced and rescaled a map of the 1910s. <laughs> how do you say that? From around 1910. Um, uh, rescaled and yeah, updated, I guess, a bit, not too much. Um, and that's, you know, 1910, obviously, Ireland wasn't independent yet, and the British still had a lot to say in Ireland. Um, but that's, that's the date on the map, you know, which I found a bit confusing. And if I can get a dark background there, you can see it's held in Trinity College, Dublin. It only shows me that when it's loading in the Glucksmann library. So I've moved on further to the left. Um, this farm here. I think this is an old farmhouse um, because this bit here is called the lawn. Uh, and you usually get the lawn uh, is the, is the, like the front lawn of a manor house, a big house in the country. 
and often also I think the Irish is haha or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's F H A I something something. You know. Um, and it's often surrounded by a haha, which is a French word, uh, which is a, a, a sunken wall, a ditch to keep the wildlife um, f off the front lawn. You can find that on Wikipedia. Haha, -ha, like the laugh, but with a hyphen, a hyphenated laugh. Um, so if you look here, I would think that this is the lawn, this bit. Um, he drew it different, so I'm not, I'm a bit uh, undecided should I go with his drawing or with the map. Um, maybe um, a compromise, I'll, so I'll go. He has a straight line, but I'm just going to follow what's here. Um, it would help if the computer did stuff. So I'm going down here. Let's say patience is a virtue. Looks like I have to correct that a bit because it didn't make all the notes I was trying to make. So I'll move this one. Into this corner. Okay. So, and then, have I said this before? You can either type in land use, farmland, or go back. And let's have a look um, what it looks like actually. If it is farmland or if it is. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I should have split that and made it a relation. I might do that later on just to show you how to do the simple way. The lawn. And. date. So I'll continue with these, which used to be two fields, um, the paddocks, which was, like he drew a straight line, so I'm just going to go with that. It used to be two. Where's it gone? Um, it used to be two paddocks, but uh, none of that is left. And um, he said that when he was a small lad, his dad used to still pull the plow with um, horses, and the horses were kept in this field in the paddock. Hence the name, uh, the paddocks. And the one below is the courtyard field. When he was talking to me, it sounded sometimes like the courtyard field, but his spelling is courtyard. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, the one next to it, to the west, is the courtyard field, I think, because that's where Cantwell's castle is, the ruin. And I've made the one below part of a relation and I'm going to add these two to that relation as well because it's well, one field if it ever lets me. How am I supposed to know? Oh, this one. The blue highlighted one. 
because all farmland it's very difficult to know which one is which and the rule is altar and then I highlight this one click on choose parent relation and it's this one you know because they don't have names itself so this is the one we I created earlier which I didn't have you take part in but the, the one that's highlighted blue is the one we want so click on that and rule alter so they're all part of the field now which is still not correct because this one is divided by a hedge but there you go um, save that okay so the rest is just gonna be bonus material of um, field names that I think are interesting so up here this one it would be so much more fun if it was moving the speed I wanted to move um, so this huge big one here I think um, it's on the edge of what I gave him as field papers atlas um, this is all called the Carrageens, just like the Townsland Carrageen. I think there are some interesting crop marks here. I've checked against the British War Office map, but um, there's nothing there. I don't know if you know what they are. Um, I think this is the, the symbol for bogland. Not entirely sure. You know those little bumps. Um, so it could be um, a what you call it. One of those walks in the bog, uh, a causeway, is that the word? But I would expect it to be more straight, I don't know. Maybe I just want to see um, a heritage where there isn't any. So we're following the path. Like this one looks very straight over here. Who knows? So, um, Carrageens, Carrageens, that's a need too many. So the one below is Coxes, that's not super interesting, but um, I think these two are interesting. I'm referring to this one here, which is called the Far Dairies Field, and this one is the Near Dairies Field, and Dairies, of course, is Oaks, um, because this should be Kilderry, the Townsland of, yes, so um, Far and Near Dairies Field. I'm going to draw these and then move to the next interesting bit but you can you know if, if you've learned what you've wanted to learn you can just switch off okay so i've added a few more off camera um just to make sure i don't forget any which there's no guarantee for uh but so this long one here is the pond field and i don't know if you can see that there's two dark spots there maybe that was where the pond used to be um, I checked already. There's nothing there, I think. No, it's nothing. Um, so if it's not there, we're not going to put it in. But I'll name that the pond field. And then we have the... Um, this one is the far church meadow. And this one is the near church meadow. Because move them up he said this used to be a priest's house this year it's um Kildare house actually and there's a graveyard behind it if you look 
here. So church side of, so you know that's why it's called the near church meadow because it was near the church. And the house is there and Kildare house I presume refers to this house here rather than something something down here. Um, I've used it for this one here. I've seen it from afar. I've actually cycled down, uh, went up to Johnswell scenic route uh, to an extreme and then came down this here. But it didn't look like one could just walk in and look at the graveyard and so I just cycled home this way. So I'm going to add these three. Um, this one here, so this is a, a biggish farm, I think this is a ruin. It looks like a ruin in the satellite view and I kind of remember that it looks like a ruin in real life. Um, because the satellite imagery is 2010, great stuff. Um, so the this is the little orchard. There don't seem to be any trees in it anymore, but you get that very often close to um, a big house. So it could have actually been belonging to Kildare House. And then I would presume this one in front of the house is the lawn, but he didn't have that. I don't know if anyone is living in that. I think he was also talking about a doctor and a dispensary. Maybe the doctor lived in that house there at some point. Um, I don't know my neighbors well enough to be able to tell you if there's still a doctor there or if that's, you know, someone in the past. Um, but I would presume this would be the lawn. Um, and then I got some from further over to the east, uh, a hand-drawn map from someone living there, which I will have to add later on as well. Um, so this is a really good yield, this person that I asked. Really great. It's totally worth waiting for a couple of weeks. And that is the end of that session. Um, there's a storm brewing outside, so I better stop recording audio um, just to show you what I did today. So Kerry Gaines is the furthest north, farthest north, farthest north. Um, and then that's all the ones I added today. Never mind the ones to the left of the Sanford Court Road. That is quite a bit. I mean, I did add these. I haven't counted. I will when I'm finished, when I do the overpass turbo um, query to see how many I added today. It's pretty, pretty good. And now I'm going to add some more to the east here around the ring forge and there's a, a lime kiln there somewhere as well that is on the hand-drawn map. <laughs>